hello collective welcome back to the ascended divination priestess channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness uh for a gentleman out there you could be going through some type of separation i don't know if you're going through a breakup a divorce and you're more than likely separating from a queen of pentacles reverse queen of wands reverse don't really matter but I think whatever information you receive from this reading is going to confirm to you who it is. Um, this is in regards to, because I've been picking up on this woman's energy for quite a while. Whoever your, I don't know if this is your wife, girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. She typically shows up as a queen of pentacles in my reads. And I don't think this, there she goes. <laughs> They say, yeah, it, it is me. It is me. This woman typically shows up as a queen of pentacles in my reads. And there's something this woman has been doing behind the scenes that maybe you're not privy to. Or maybe you were a part of it before and you've separated yourself from it and you didn't realize that she was still doing something. This woman typically shows up as a queen of pentacles because of her attachment to either you or an organization. This is not something where it says she's wealthy because she built something by herself or she's creative or something or she's hardworking. This woman is none of that. She don't have any type of innovation. It's not multifaceted. It is just someone that's an average jean with expensive clothes on. Nothing exotic, nothing eccentric to look at. Uh, just someone that's very bitter, insecure, and moves like a child out here and uh, excuse my straightforwardness but there's something where i picked up on it's like this woman has been coming after like a queen of cups energy and things like that really pissed me off so i'm going to tell you about yourself let's get, let's go ahead and get into it uh typically high priestesses they don't they're a little bit more on the i don't know if they're on the more nice side i'm not nice i'm kind but not really nice um so this is someone that has been orchestrating someone else's demise behind the scenes of you. So you may not be aware of it. This is someone that's been planning how to have someone on a live, someone electrocuted, um, shocked or something like that. Been hiring men behind the scenes to break into a Queen of Cups home to have them taken out, trying to steal something that belongs to a Queen of Cups. Uh, let, since I do social media, I want to use uh, social media as a, as an example. So let's say she wants to have somebody's platform. And what she's doing is she is paying someone behind the scenes to slow down somebody's platform so that it does not grow. And she's hoping that by doing that for a long time, an extensive period of time, that this Queen of Cups is going to end up giving up on their platform and just walk away from it. And then she can take over the platform or some type of opportunity can go to her. It's something like that. If someone, this person is very soulless. Like this is like a child playing like a grown woman like th th there's nothing mature about this woman people don't move mature women don't move like this secure women don't move like this but there's something very vain superficial about this woman and about you you two's relationship as well you keep coming up in my reads because this woman is coming after people in the spiritual community so i think a lot of us are picking up on her and it's bothering her because the truth is being exposed about her but this is someone very malicious very wicked sinister just of human emotions is very entitled that she represents all of the negative attributes of the queen of pentacles and the reason she's showing up as the queen of pentacles as i said is because of her association to you or some type of institution um, that may be very wealthy or you may be very wealthy so if this is a wife think of you basically working really hard to make money you put the money gets deposited into the account and she's taking the money and paying a hacker to do black magic on someone else. And what she's doing is black magic because she's manipulating. She's doing something to interfere with someone else's free will. So this Queen of Cups is putting in a lot of work to build something. It could be a, biz, a physical business or a social media platform, whatever it is. Okay. Some type of intellectual property. She, this Queen of Cups is putting in a lot of work and this Queen of Pentacles is going behind the scenes and paying somebody to slow it down so that this woman can end up giving up on her dreams and she can be like out of the picture while she's attacking her platform. She's also sending people or trying to find people to send towards this Queen of Cups to do them something. So like she's literally telling people that she wants this woman on a live. She wants this woman taken out. She wants this woman hurt. Like your wife or whoever this is, is sitting by the phone and waiting to hear that a Queen of Cups is hurt, is unalive, or something 
horrible has happened to her so that she does not get some type of opportunity from you or from an institution. This could be something where this is a queen of pentacles that is in an institution and it's just very malicious and it's trying to destroy a queen of cups before she can step into a position. And she's been doing this for a long time. This could be a woman that's trying to either steal from you or an institution as well. And little does she know that institution is aware of her ways. You may be even privy to your wife's ways. I don't know which one it is. It could be both situations that are going on. But... This woman thinks that this Queen of Cups is stupid or something. Like she thinks she's smarter than the Queen of Cups. Typically, this Queen of Cups I've been picking up on will show up in uh, either a, as an Empress, a Queen of Swords, or a Queen of Pentacles, or a Queen of Cups. Basically, an Empress energy and a High Priestess. And there's something where this Queen of Cups it may be in like a Queen of Swords energy right now. And there is a reason for that. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups, they tend to move the same way but for different reasons. If you are coming after the Queen of Cups, she will avoid all drama with you. She's not problematic. This is someone that's a lover. She wants everybody to be happy. Uh, she wants to support everybody. So that's why she will avoid drama with you. It's not because she's afraid of you. It's just that she prefers to be peaceful. The Queen of Swords, on the other hand, is a little bit more sophisticated. She's avoiding drama with you because she wants things is beneath her and two, she's too sophisticated for that. She's too diplomatic. So if you're coming to her with problems, she has already sat back and actualized the situation. She knows that you are self-destructing. So she's going to distance herself from the situation in whatever way she can, whether it be physical, mental, or emotional. She'll distance herself from it and let you do as you please because she understands that at the end you are self-destructing. So She's allowing you to compromise yourself. Basically, it's a hands of tactic. And this is what women like your wife don't understand. They'll keep coming after people and they don't realize that whoever they're coming after is allowing them to self-destruct self or whoever this queen of pentacles is within a community. Basically, they're com she's coming after a, 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 a queen of swords that's allowing her to self-destruct. Meaning, this woman, since she's paid someone to hack someone's platform, right? Since I'm using that as an example, she's having to pay that person to hack that platform and to slow down the growth of that platform. Every time that person does this, she has to pay, pay them money, right? Or it could, be, it could be something where she paid half up front and then she got to pay the other half when the job is done. And the job to her is done when this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords energy stops posting, stops working, stops being hopeful, stops being uh, optimistic about life and things like that. That's when she'll pay this masculine the other half of the money, but it's never going to happen. So this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords energy is going to sit back and let this idiot keep drawing money out of her account or your account and keep paying this gentleman to keep hacking this account and keep slowing it down, not realizing that this Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups energy is already privy to everything she's doing, but she's choosing to have a hands-off approach. Again, people like this don't understand how real war works. Like, this is a battle. They say a battle is not a black, it's not a battle if a snake doesn't rattle. She's been rattling a lot. So, there's something this woman has done. It has led to some type of self-destruction. She may be running out of money or maybe you two are running out of money or there's some type of separation going on between the two of you. Um, maybe she's going to choose to be practical now. I doubt it. I told you she's been collaborating with people trying to have someone destroy someone's work. Okay. Has been very determined. This woman, your wife is sending people towards a queen of source house to tell them to hurt this woman. Like she... When I say that your wife is sitting by the phone, eagerly waiting, like awaiting a message that this this lady here, this Queen of Cups here, is hurt. Like, is she hurt yet? Is she is she on alive yet? Did you do this yet? Did this happen yet? Da 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 da. That like, she's waiting to hear that. She's like she's sending men to this woman's house to do her something. This is how wicked, void, and malicious this woman is. There's something, and we're going to go deep into it today because this this stuff is getting on my last nerve. This is not why we get into divination. But since you all want to keep coming up and keep coming after light workers, we're going to tell you about yourself today. This this creature here, this is an insecure woman. This is someone not, not ugly to look at, but not 
like you wouldn't see this person on like a wrong way model on a wrong way uh show or something i mean nowadays anybody is a model it used to be something special to be but everybody is a model these days but this is not like someone where you'll see walking down the street and you're like oh my gosh or like, it's she's not like eccentric or exotic looking but she has a problem with sister sisters i mean like the complexion because what well, she's fair skin or whatever she's like an average gene. I saw somebody's face in my dream and I, and I feel like this is who, who's behind all this nonsense. Like sis is average, like myself here. Average looking with expensive clothes on and nothing special to look at, nothing, okay? Maybe this man loved you once before but the love is not there or this is just someone in a community that used to be maybe cute when she was younger. Like most of us are, as we get older, things shift. We got to adjust to it, but she's not trying to adjust. She's still living in the old days where she thinks she's the top of the hot topic of the day and of the week, the month, and the year. It ain't so, darling. You need to humble thyself and sit down somewhere. Whoever this woman is, this is like a colorist or a bigot walking about. Like, does not care much for people that don't look like her or she's done deemed to be worthy of certain blessings or abundance like she does not want to live in a world where this queen of cups is happy living an abundant life in a happy family being spoiled being loved on like i don't know what that has to do with her but apparently that's the problem she's so envious of another woman because this is someone i'm picking up on that hates herself like she, she because you got to hate yourself to be going to this extent to want to destroy another person like to be taking money out of you and your husband's account to go and destroy someone or to be taking money out of your account maybe she's by herself i don't know you got to be a special kind of stupid to do things like that it's very like i i, I don't even know what the word is to use okay but as you can see it's coming out right this queen of cups is being practical about her work she ain't out here fooling around just like i said this woman because she typically shows up as a queen of swords she's being very practical about the situation looking at it from a distance like you know what i'm gonna keep going because i know somebody is not getting into this situation for free she is more than likely paying him or her whoever is hacking the system and i'm just using this hypothetically because this keeps coming up in the reads this woman has already sat back and practicalized the whole situation. She said, you know what? I'm going to keep going. I want to see how much money she has. When this situation started, your wife or whoever this is said she had all the money in the world to stop uh, you and this person from connecting or she had all the money in the world to destroy this queen of cuss. Well, it's getting to a situation where she may not have all the money in the world for long. Okay? Something is about to either go down or it has gone down. This woman could be in some type of karma, going through some type of karma, about to be single out here. So if this is karma playing out, it's that she was trying to stop you and someone from working together because she thought that you two would end up, I don't know, getting in a relationship or something would end up working out with the two of you. Like, like you would start working with this queen of cups and will fall in love with her so your wife decided i'm going to destroy this queen of cups ahead of time so that he has no reason to want to work with her it's basically what your wife has been doing out here and she says that she wants to win by any means possible so she doesn't care what it is she's doing to this woman whether this woman has parents that she's taking care of, whether this woman has children she's taking care of, whether the, the family is sick, whether the woman is sick, nothing. She don't get two Fs because this is someone that only cares about themselves. You feel me? So she's been going all out. I mean, like having someone's like FBI uh, uh, files uh, uh, um, invaded, looked into illegally, by the way. She could have some type of legal contact in the justice system that she's misusing uh invading this woman's privacy in many different ways and i don't know how aware you are of what this woman has been doing but something is legal and if it comes out she's cool she could end up facing some prison time or whoever she's being paid to do something could end up facing some prison time because i heard something about unprotected that means he or she is doing something unprotected so that means there could be some type of legal eye on them and seeing what it is they're doing uh, in whatever situation, however way they're invading this woman's privacy. And it's going to lead to somebody serving some type of time. And the time they're going to be serving, baby, when they tell them, it's going to hit them hard. Because this is not 
whoever the gentleman is that's been doing something behind the scenes, this is not someone that's prison ready. Not ready for his close up. Not ready for Orange is the New Black. Nothing, honey. He ain't ready for it. And he is still out here doing something because he's getting paid. Basically, when she goes to him, he's looking for money. Like, you got money, money talk BS work. If you ain't talking money, you can't be talking to him. But and he, he deems himself to be a very sophisticated person, sophisticated hacker. Let's see how sophisticated you're going to be when Orange is the New Black. Anyways... I don't know, listen, I'm just, I don't know how long you've been with this woman, but how you've lasted with this kind of energy, baby, you need to pat yourself on the back. Oh, pat yourself on the back. When you free yourself from this creature, you need to go live and be free for a while. Go and be free for a while. Like, do what you want to do. Sing if you want to sing. Dance if you want to dance. You don't got to pretend anymore to be something you're not. You don't got to pretend to be happy anymore. Oh, brother, you go on and live your life. I don't know who you're going to. Make sure when you're going to them, you are healed, healed. Like, ready for them. Don't go there wasting their time. This queen of cups now. Don't waste her time. But, baby, when you free yourself from this nutcase that I'm picking up on, go eat you a burger. Go eat you some ice cream or something. Something, because I feel an energy that feels in prison with somebody. This woman could be unhinged right now, so be careful how you move. I'm also being told to warn you about some type of, I don't know if it's a family reunion, company reunion, whatever this is. Make sure, be careful of what you are eating and drinking at this place. Do not over drink if you choose to drink with them, or if you choose to even go, take you a bottle of water and stick to the H2O. Because there's some type of poisoning that's being plotted against you. I've been picking up on this for a while. Someone is planning to poison you. Uh, someone is planning to distract you. If they know what it is you like to drink, obviously she would. She's your wifey. She knows what you like to drink or this is someone that's very close to you. Make sure you just take your H2O with you and stick to that, okay? Uh, or you can just tell them you're not available. You got work to do. It's that simple, but there's something that's being plotted where when you go to like a gathering, a family reunion, a wedding, whatever this is, some type of celebration, be careful of what you eat, be careful of what you drink, because there's something else, that's, there's an extra ingredient uh, that may be in there or somebody wants to get you so drunk that you make some type of reckless action, get back in bed with her, and then she's going to be recording it so that if you go towards this queen of cups to give them an offer, she'll somehow manage to get those pictures to the queen of cups and let her know, hey, I know he said he cares about you and stuff, but I just want you to know he and I were together two nights ago. This is how dark and malicious your wife is and maybe you know it maybe you used to be the same way and you've gone through some type of change congratulations on that but she's still in that energy she hasn't changed still pretending around you maybe you thought uh maybe you told her that she needed to work on herself her mental is well to counseling do some type of healing work and she was pretending for a while that she had healed and she had let something go she wasn't bothering somebody anymore nope she is still up to her deeds she is still out here ordering hits and things like that. Your wife moves like she is like a, a, a madame of a gang or something. Like she sits at home. I don't know if she doesn't work outside of the home or whatever. You do the work. You two own a business, but you do most of the work or something like that. But she sits at home and makes the calls. Hey, did you do what I asked you to do? Is she hurt yet? Is she hospitalized yet? Is she uh, uh, unalive yet? Something like that. Like just hiring people back and forth. She hires one, one quits. She got a replacement the next day. Hire that one, they quit. Got a replacement the next day. Your wife is very motivated and determined to destroy another person. If only she had enough common sense to put all of that determination and motivation into healing herself, what she's going through or is about to go through wouldn't even be happening. Okay? So this is someone that deems herself to be smarter than a queen of swords. You got, you, women like this, it's like, you know how they say common sense is not a flower that is found in every garden? Your wife ain't got no common sense in her garden. I am so sorry to tell you that because 
If she did, she would have handled this situation a lot different. I don't know if you two own a business or something and you told your wife that you wanted somebody like this queen of cups to come into the business. You wanted to give them a position and your wife was against it or something like that. And so because you maybe kept bringing it up occasionally, she started feeling some type of weight about it. I don't know what the situation is. Or maybe she came across this woman some way, somehow and instantaneously got jealous of the woman. The woman is gifted, whatever, because I keep picking up when I do these reads that she's doing something to a high priestess, literally every read. She picked up on this lady, found out that the lady is legit. She's actually gifted. The, the woman's gifts bother her. She doesn't like the fact that this woman is spiritually actually gifted because you know, they have a lot of people out here that pretend to be gifted, but they're not really gifted. Whoever she picked up on or whoever you introduce her to, not physically, but in some type of way, is actually gifted. And you actually may know that this woman is gifted. And the fact that she's showing up as a queen of cups means that she really is gifted. It bothers your wife. Your wife would like to be the one with the spiritual gifts. But don't got no spiritual gifts because of the energy that she resides in. That dark, insecure, malicious, and bitter energy. This is someone that's very entitled, has not worked for nothing that she has. She's been stealing from people most of her career, Let's, if we're going to call it that. Been built nothing, uh, been pretending to be something her whole life, ain't none of that. This could be someone that's fair-skinned, as I said, or is Caucasian or whatever, and she uses that to her benefit. This is someone that may even come across as very pixie, fairy-like. Uh, comes across as very angelic and you know very innocent it ain't none of the above this is someone that puts on a facade for the public and you very well know it so this is what your wife has been up to okay she is trying to make sure you and somebody do not meet and if you meet it's going to be some type of loss for her because she knows whoever she's been trying to stop will be moving forward victoriously and confidently there's something where she has a problem with this queen of cups uh, confidence she feels that this Queen of Cups should be humble. And it's not because this Queen of Cups is ugly or anything or whatever. Intolerable, wicked, malicious like her or nothing like that. It's because she's intimidated by this woman. The, people have a misconception about the Queen of Cups and I get so agitated about it. Just because somebody is loving does not mean that they're weak and feeble. Just because somebody is loving does not mean that they're dumb. Just because someone chooses the mature and higher route does not mean that they are naive or that they're weak or whatever. That is you assuming, that is you projecting onto that person. There's something this woman is finding out the hard way. She saw this woman as a Queen of Cups and she thought this was going to be someone that she could just stump on. Uh, she could keep destroying somebody um, and they weren't going to do nothing, say nothing. They would just roll over and say, oh, the Queen of Pentacles has taken what's mine. I might as well just walk away. There's some type of battle this woman was not expecting. She says that something should be over, should have been over by now. This woman, this Queen of Pen Queen of uh, uh, Cups should not still be out here hopeful, should not be out here looking forward to the future, being enthusiastic. Uh, still maybe even posting or selling products or trying to sell her products, whatever it is, still writing books or whatever the situation is. Um, but the Queen of Cups is still doing it. And that's something she doesn't understand. It's that people choose, people that are in this Queen of Cups energy, they choose to reside in that energy, okay? Because it makes life easier for them. They choose to be loving. They choose to be caring, okay? It's not because they have to be. It's not something that's fake. It's something that they choose to be because... These kind of people, they see life from a higher perspective. They understand that people go through things in life and a little bit of kindness goes a long way. A little bit of nurturing, a little bit of uh, caring goes a long way. So they will choose to be nurturing and kind to the environment or the people around them. Okay, not because they're stupid. This is not a stupid person. This is someone that's in direct connection with Source. So oftentimes they have information that you don't even have but because they stay quiet people mistaking their quietness with stupidity okay i don't know because i've had people that assume the same thing about me because i don't say as much as i know or i don't react like i'm supposed to like if people are coming rah 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 or bringing problems to me i may not get angry with you i may act and be like oh i need to go look into that oh what what did you say let me look into that or something like that but i'm not going to be like angry like, if you come to me and say, did you know he said this about you or she said that about you? I'm not about to be like, girl, no, I didn't. No, he didn't. Let me go and find out. No, 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 no. 
I just look at it and be like, okay, well, I'll, you know, talk to them about it when I need to or if I decide to. If not, it is what it is. Let them think what they want to think. That kind of mindset is always misread. Or I may not even respond to what it is you're saying. I may just, like, disregard it. Those, that kind of mindset is foreign to these kind of women because they're used to proving their confidence. And confidence is not something that you need to prove. Anytime somebody has to rah, 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 or do all this maliciousness behind the scenes to keep something or to get something, to hold on to something, they don't even, that should let you know they don't have the capability to execute whatever that is because they're trying so hard. That means there's something they're hiding. There's something where this woman is quick to say something about a degree. Maybe your degree didn't teach you common sense. If it would have taught you common sense, you wouldn't be doing the things that you're doing out here. So common sense is kind of out the door. No, nobody cares about your degree. You could have the degree, but you don't have the skills. So what's your degree worth to the organization or your husband? Because you can't even separate your personal feelings from the business. You, you want to make money, but you're letting your feelings and insecurities get in the way of you making money. You crazy? Now, I can see if this was like some type of healthy... Let's... Like, there's a difference sometimes where it's that you genuinely care about someone that you work with and you want to be with them and you find a way to merge those two things together. That happens. That's human nature, okay? But when it's a situation where you don't want to work with someone simply because you are intimidated by them, you're bothered by their confidence because they're a darker complexion than you, you're stupid as heck, Okay? That's like, that's being so small minded and so insecure. Like that speaks volume about who you are, especially on an intellectual level. That lets people know you are not intellectual in any way, shape or form. Like you're so small minded and so low vibrational that you don't even understand the importance of what's going on. That people are missing out on money because you're too insecure to grow the heck up. So meaning... If this Queen of Cups would have been in this company a long time ago, everybody would have been benefiting from this one person because this is the person with the gifts. This is the person with the uh, creativity. This is the person with the access to source to get whatever the heck they want, to manifest whatever the heck they want. You don't have that. So, because you're insecure and bothered by this person's genuine energy, you decide, I'm going to ask everybody else over. I'm not going to let them know why it is I don't want this Queen of Cups in this organization or in this family. I'm just going to cause them problems from behind the scenes. I'm just going to try to destroy them, have them on a life, have somebody dishonor them, have somebody beat them bloody. And then, you know what? When he sees the pictures of her being with this person that I have forced himself on her, he's going to know that she's not someone of honor. He was he, he had a misconception about her. Like, you are that wicked, vain, and boy that you don't even know how to put two and two together to understand that business first, personal feelings later. It's that simple. And you've, like a queen of swords has sat back and just allowed you to destroy yourself. And you don't even know that. And you're still going, thinking you're going to win. You should read uh, The Art of War. War. Uh, what is it? Sazu or something. Those Asian names are always hard for me to say. When, watch the, not watch. I mean, you can watch the movie too. But um, I'm, I'm typically someone that prefers to read books though. Movie stuff, yeah, 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 it's cute. Um, but read the art, the art of war by, by Sazu or whatever they call him, baby. I don't know those Asian names, and I don't be trying to pretend to even know them, baby. You don't even know who it is you've been coming after. You don't know them. You saw someone as a queen of cups, and just assume because they came across as a queen of cups, queen of cups, or you saw them as a queen of cups that you were just going to roll them over and flick them over to the side of the road and take whatever it is that belongs to them, not knowing that this person is actually genuinely doing something for the right reasons. You don't have a good reason for why you want what belongs to somebody. You could be wanting a position or just trying to take what belongs to somebody else. You haven't put in any work into it and you are that way because society has enabled you to be that way, to grow up entitled. You're more than likely Caucasian or you're just fair-skinned and, and have had privileges granted to you that that Queen of Cups, that's my complexion, has not had 
granted to them. So she has to work 10 times more than you have to work because of what you're fair skin. And because you are fair skin or Caucasian, you have been giving everything you want in life without effort. And because that has happened repeatedly time and time again, you have gotten accustomed to getting your way. So when you don't get your way now, it is a problem. So you feel like you got to destroy everybody in your path, even though really you're the one in people's path. You're the, 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 the barricade in people's path. It's not the other way around. Your mind, you're distorted. You don't understand that you're distorted. It's the problem. You need to be practical. You're showing up as a queen of pentacles, but you like all the attributes of a queen of pentacles. It's really embarrassing. You're not practical in any shape or form. To go to this extent where you are trying to misuse the criminal justice system to get somebody set up. Because I've been picking up on all of this for the past few months. You've been trying to get somebody locked up. May have even tried to get a masculine locked up. Maybe even got him locked up and tried to keep him in there. Uh, you uh, uh, um, have invaded somebody's privacy in every way, shape, or form. Trying to find some type of dirt on them so that you can stick it to them and have them deemed as unqualified or uh, 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 incompetent or something so that something does not go to them. You've done all of that and nothing came of it. Digging for dirt that, that just was never going to be found because this woman don't got no dirt on her. You didn't try to put this person in some type of scarcity mindset, have them living in anxiety and fear and things of that nature so that they can feel like the whole world is against them. They can't reach out to anybody for help because this is typically the tactic women like you uh, or uh, do, insecure women like you do. When you go to this far extent, you try to isolate people and make them feel like nobody wants to help them, nobody likes them, nobody loves them, nobody cares about them. If they go missing, nobody's going to come looking for them. That's how insecure you are. You've done all of this. And this Queen of Cups is still moving forward. And you haven't sat down for one goddamn minute to think, I probably should stop doing this. No, 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 no. How your brain cells work is if I keep going, she's going to give up. This is probably what you told this masculine. Keep going. She's going to give up and, I, and I'm going to give you the rest of the money. You'll have a lot of money when she gives up. I want to make sure that she gives up before I pay you. I don't want to pay you the rest of the money and then she doesn't give up. Or every, or there could be something where you got to pay him. Because let's say since I use social media, for example, this woman is posting, they say one to two times a day or something. Every time she posts, that man has to go into their system, right? To slow that video down. So you got to pay him. Let's say this woman starts posting five times a day. Where are you going to get that money from? Because now, because you're, you're in a divorce proceeding. You're about to be funny on money. You don't went and made somebody else's money funny. And yours is about to be funny. Because that man ain't going to let you take everything he got. You ain't trying to take him for all this guy, remember? You're in a divorce proceeding. Come on now. Trying to hold on to this man. For your dear life. I'm telling you. Trying to hold on to him for his for your dear life. And now he's taking his offer somewhere else. And what are you? Out here sad, depressed, and miserable. Bitter as hell. Angry. S suffering from mental illness. You got mental illness and don't even want to go and take care of it. it. It don't make no sense. Why are you hurting yourself? Leave that woman alone. Who knows where your husband is going? What makes you think your husband is going towards her? Did he tell you he was going towards her? Or if this is an organization, why are you so bothered about this Queen of Cups being in a position? Why are you a colorist? That's what you need to be looking into. Why do you got a problem with people that are, are darker complexion than you? Because that's all I pick up on when you, when you get in my reads. That you are a colorist. You're a bigot. You got a problem with someone being happy. You don't want to see a dark skin sister happy out here. You said they got their place in society. They should only go to a certain extent in life. And to that certain extent, they shouldn't go above that. So if this is like an organization and you are in charge of giving raises to these people, you have come up with your own system on how to make sure these women don't make anything above what you think they are worthy of. You Do you know how pathetic you sound and look? Let's get, oh my lord, so pathetic. 
Like, oh, it's just, mm -mm, not this one. They can't make over $25. They can't make over $27. Oh, but you know what? Ashley, Ashley can make $38. You are, come on. And then the sad part is, though, sisters, sisters around you don't even know what it is you do and how you view them and they're there cackling with you. <laughs> Maria is so nice. Looking dumb as heck. Come on. I, I, like, I can school you on how Queen of Pentacles are supposed to move, but it'll be a waste of time because you'll never do the work to acquire the attributes of that woman. Like, you're out here still playing, playing dress up at your age. You're still playing dress up, still out here mad and bitter, trying to cause people endings while you're going through endings. It's the end of this karmic circle, cycle for this masculine. Guess what? He's about to be uh, in love, building a Ten of Pentacles, new beginning. Love fulfillment. You see that right there? Endless opportunity. This is an emperor having a new beginning. Baby, I don't know what to tell you, but you're going to be crying somewhere. Better go. You might as well start getting into that uh, 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 fetal position because that's where you're about to be for a while. Because, <laughs> girl, telling you, new beginning. Leave that man alone. I don't know why y'all be out here trying to force people to be with you. Grow up. Grow up. You, you, you've done all this work behind the scenes. You said you're clever. All this clever work behind the scenes. But every time you see that Queen of Cups, because you're invading her privacy, which means you have some type of access to her. Invading her privacy, right? Every time you see her or hear her, let's say, or even watch her on social media, what, what do you hear? Contentment, happiness, assertiveness joy enthusiastic energy right what does that tell you ma'am that it's not the outside forces that tells you or makes you who you are it is what is within you you don't even have enough sense in your head to put that together it probably i heard i just heard somebody's light bothers the demon within you or somebody's intellect bothers the demon within you so you don't even want to hear anything that is diplomatic tactful positive coming out of this woman you want people to see this woman as someone that is broke busted disgusted want her living in destitute and things like that you want people to move away from her you want this woman living in fear and things but you're the one living in fear how are you so smart and you've invested all of this energy into destroying and tearing somebody down. But you're more miserable than they are. And you got more money than they do. Put two and two together. Since you're so smart. You're so smart. You orchestrated a whole plan against this person. And every day, look at that. People walking away from you. Look at that. You orchestrated a whole plan to dismantle someone, destroy them. It's a queen of swords behind the scenes doing the same thing to this woman. You probably know her too. That one told a lie, said that somebody was not qualified for a position. I've picked up on all of you in these reads for the past months since January. Said that this woman was not qualified for a position, was not mentally stable, they didn't have the capabilities to manage some type of finances or something like that because she wanted the position. The position ain't for her, but she wants to have it. So she went on a smear campaign, got a, a group of people to help her create some type of smear campaign against the Queen of Cups to make them seem unfit for something, only for it to be found out that she's a freaking liar. Why are you all at your age not able to put two and two together to use common sense? A queen of pentacles that does not have the attributes of a queen of pentacles. A queen of swords that does not have the attributes of a queen of swords. What are we doing here? Where are you people headed in life? You get, baby, ain't none of us getting younger. I'm calling you all old. I ain't that young myself. I ain't, I'm in my 30s. You know, once you hit your 30s, everything else just flies by. Ain't none of us getting young out here. What are y'all doing? What are you doing out here with your life? Like, you're so determined to have something, and it's getting made clear to you, you ain't having it. So, why are you still doing something? Why are you still paying to have someone's uh, uh, work be destroyed or slow down? Or some why are you doing it? Because something is not coming to you. I'm the practitioner, right, doing the read here today. 
I'm going to tell you, oh, I can bet my life on it, darling. You ain't going to get it. You're not getting your way. If this is a relationship, that man ain't coming back to you. He's not staying with you. If this is a position, you're not getting it. That queen of swords is not getting the position. So what are we doing here? Let me know. Let me know. Like you all are working so hard to defeat someone, stop them, block them, keep them from having some type of love offer that's going to be leading to some type of generosity from someone uh, th that has a lot of passion for them and believes in them. You, you should want people in your life that believe in you. Okay? Maybe he's tired of your energy. Maybe you're negative. Maybe every time this man says he wants to open a business or he wants to do something new, you talk him out of it instead of helping him look into it. It's that, hey, babe, I want to open a crystal business. Instead of you saying, well, let's look into it and see what the pros and cons are, how we can go about opening the business. You'll tell him, and eh, people don't really be buying crystals like that. What is wrong with you? There's a whole audience. There is a whole demographic for crystals. All you guys to do is build it, they'll come. You've ever heard that term in business? That's an old saying. That is one of the oldest saying in business. If you build it, they will come. There is an audience for everything you can think of. And what you got to do when you build a business for that specific audience is be loyal to that audience and they will be loyal to you. Some of you don't understand business. You get in business for the wrong reasons. You get in there for the money. How much money you can milk out of people. And that's why the business never lasts. It, you, you stick around for a couple of years, next thing you know, you're filing for bankruptcy because you don't know nothing about loyalty. Customers, you need loyalty to them, okay? it's I, 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 This is the part where sometimes I get frustrated with the universe because there are people like myself that understands business, customers, relationship, and how to get a business to actually last, but, but maybe I'm too broke to even finance the business. But then you got idiots like you that got the money, but you don't even understand human relationships. Interpersonal communication, interpersonal skills you don't got. But you want to walk around and say that you're smart. Okay, darling, you're about to be smart and single. Because you're too reckless. Don't know how to self-actualize. You don't like people that self-actualize. The whole group is about to be walking away from you because they got better things to do with their lives. That part. That part. They got better things to do with their lives. Hopefully you find something good to do with your life. These people want to go on and live their lives. You want to hang on to your insecure ways for the rest of your life? Because I don't pick up on a woman that's young. Baby, I'm in my 30s. I feel like you're a little older than me. And you're still having put two and two together about life yet. And you're still out here acting like a child. You know what, baby? You're about to be, listen, stuck going through a tower and can't nobody help you because whoever you're trying to keep, <laughs> look at him being practical, right? Dreaming, being practical about who that queen of swords you've been coming after about to have a whole confession session with this woman. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> I really don't know what to tell you. I told you about yourself. Maybe I can help you figure out how to get on the road to healing. But are you going to do it? Are you going to do it, darling? No. You may look into it for a little bit and then you say, eh, I don't got time for this. Because you don't have enough common sense to invest in yourself. You're too busy out here trying to destroy other people that are actually investing in yourself. Because you seem to think that destroying other people and having what belongs to other people, taking from other people, is what being fair is. That's what fairness is to you. Taking from other people. Not you getting out here and actually working. Not you out getting out here and actually putting in the effort. Let me tell you something. Life, <laughs> who reward is typically supposed to be given to you based off of merit. Meaning that you put in work to get what it is that you are receiving. Not because you is Caucasian or you is a fair skin. That don't mean nothing to businesses that are actually in the upright or to men and women that actually have common sense and actually have value to themselves. It's about hard work, self-actualizing, okay, and doing things the right way. And if people like you are against doing things the right way because you know you don't come to the table with anything to offer, but a message, a, a, a speech, okay? You're like a business speech walking around. 
You have a speech for every situation. You practice it so long. Baby, you can you can rehearse it. You can recite it in your sleep. Nothing authentic about you. I'm telling you, nothing authentic. It's all illusions. All illusions. That's okay. It's about to be you and your illusions. Just you, yourself, and you. That part. Because that man is fed up. The community is fed up. Everybody is fed up. And they're about to be balancing something out. I'm telling you. You got to grow up. Just let me tell you. You want to be the choice in somebody's life? Because this is like, I don't know what it, what this is. Either a choice in somebody's life or a choice in the company. You got to do the work. So, so let's say you have the business degree you tend to brag about. I got the business degree. I'm educated. Or is that the queen of swords that says that I'm educated. I, I can do this faster than her. There's something like that. She, uh, she, she talks for, I'm just putting humor to it. But whoever the queen of swords is, I hear like a mechanistic person talking. Very like robotic. But tries her best to come across as a queen of cups. Ain't no queen of cups. But her mindset is that she got the degree and she can do something faster. But anything else, <laughs> baby, is out the door. No, no human skills. No interpersonal skills. <laughs> nothing. Just she got the degree and she can work faster. She can type the numbers faster. She can calculate the numbers faster. But that's not what the, the owner of the business is looking for. That's not what the man is looking for. <laughs> the man is looking for someone that actually cares. Because if you have somebody that cares... They draw the people in. People are naturally drawn to them. Meaning, customers. Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Oh, my Lord. It's so easy. The Queen of, Queen of Swords says that she doesn't want people to find out that this Queen of Cups is actually someone that's intellectual, very smart. <laughs> Girl! That's the secret of the Queen of Cups. They're very intellectual people, but they don't they don't move with that attribute of themselves. They keep that in the back. They say, yeah, 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 yeah. They're more so on the sunshine, butterflies, and things. And I used to be like this, you all. I mean, I, I'm still typically a Queen of Cups, but I'm in my Queen of Swords energy these days because life is like... Listen, life threw me a couple of lemons. I took those suckers and grew me a couple of lemon trees. You know what? So, I'm typically in my Queen of Swords energy these days, but I've always had that in me, but I've been predominantly a Queen of Cups for a long time. So, I feel like sometimes, too, when people used to see me, they would see a Queen of Cups and think that, oh, it's a Queen of Cups, blah, 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 blah. But the Queen of Cups, people tend to mistake it. It's not that this person is dumb. This is just someone that just wants to see people happy. This is just someone that wants to make sure everybody is okay. This is just someone that likes to bring the best out of people, okay? Have a, a thriving environment. And this is something they do naturally without effort. They don't got to force it. They don't got to be mean to you. They don't got to prove themselves. They just do it in a very subtle and nonchalant way. You, you won't even realize they're telling you to do something. They'll just ask you to do something. They do it in a way where it's like they're asking, but they're really telling you, but they're not doing it forcefully. They'll do it as though, like, you, it's like, it's teamwork. But, like, the way they go about it, you respect them. These kind of women that I'm picking up on here, they got to prove their authority. These are the people that will be yelling, losing their temper, throwing a temper tantrum at whatever age, 45, 55, 65, whatever. If you don't do what they say immediately or how they want you to do it. But the Queen of Cups is going to understand from a human perspective Everybody makes mistakes. You may not do this the right way right now, but if I tell you or show you how to do it now, next time you won't do the same mistake. I don't have to yell at you. These kind of women don't know how to do Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Why am I schooling women that are older than me? I, should, I said women that are older than me and the empress came out. So that means that you guys got some learning to do. I shouldn't be teaching my elders this kind of stuff. You should be teaching me this. Come on. Come on. They're just out here trying to steal from an empress. Someone said they refuse to have people see the Queen of Cups as an empress, but she's an empress. Who are you to decide who this woman is? Who are you? You don't even know who you are. You don't even know who you are, darling. So how do you get to decide who somebody is? Come on. 
there's a Queen of Pentacles reverse and a Queen of Swords reverse. I've been picking up on the Queen of Cups reverse. Baby, I don't know what's going on with her. She don't lost the whole relationship. Someone is seeing her for who she is. I'm leaving her over there because I've been picking up on all of these women for a while. Queen of Wands reverse is going through havoc as well. Baby, losing everything. Don't lose a relationship. And every, like, y'all just out here losing everything for coming after one person. One person, look at your burden, having to move on because something is still being balanced and attuned for the very person you were trying to destroy and they're going to be moving forward and they didn't have to do anything malicious to you all. This woman is his. If I'm going to see things through her eyes that I used to be when I was a queen of, I'm not saying was a queen of cups, I'm still a queen of cups, folks. <sighs> I already told you the situation, but if I'm seeing things through her eyes as a queen of cups, this sister didn't do nothing to any of you. Probably didn't even react to nothing you all were doing. If she did, it was more than likely to defend herself or something. But it was never to destroy you all, speak ill of you, uh, take anything from you, be malicious to you. Someone had like a hands of approach is what I'm hearing. So you all got all together. <laughs> I don't know if it was a three, three witches. The power of three compels you or something. Or four witches, the power of four. Listen, you all came after this one person. Didn't do nothing to you, never reacted. One of you wanted to fight this woman from what I remember in one of my readings. I think it was the Queen of Wands that wanted to come in and fight her. Nothing. Like, this sister keeps to herself. Why in the world are you all coming after one person? One person. You didn't... Listen, I, if I was in your group, I would have sat back immediately. Listen, 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 Linda. You mean it's four of us, or however many of it is yours, is, 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 uh, are you guys? You mean it's this many of us coming after one person? Nah, I ain't that insecure. I'm good. I'm good. Because that's embarrassing as heck. You mean everybody, a whole clan of people, got together to destroy one person and not one person in your group? Stop back to sale. Uh, this is not making sense. This is not right. We shouldn't be doing this. This is going to expose us as being insecure and immature and being very bothered by this one person. Especially with the fact that she ain't paying us no mind. We don't do everything we can to this person and she's still not responding and you want us to keep going? Nah. I would have been told you I'm good. Snuck my way away from the situation like you on your own, Betty. Uh-uh. First of all, I wouldn't even participate because this is not something, uh-uh. I don't think myself to be better than anybody, but things like this is beneath me. I I'm going to say it, it's beneath me. This kind of mentality where it's like grouping up to bully people is beneath me. I ain't doing it with you. I don't care how long we've been friends. I'm not doing it with you. Maybe I'm going to sneak away into my new life, okay? New life. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. How long I've known you, best friend for 30 years, you come to me with some BS like that, Chuck sucks do this up. I guess we ain't friends no more because I'm not helping you bully anybody to keep a man, keep a position, keep some money. Sounds like a personal problem for me. For, uh, to me. You're going to have to figure it out. Go see for yourself. You're going to have to go within and see for yourself because I already know it's going to be disappointment for you. The chapter is over, darling. Let it go, Miss Queen of Pentacles Reverse. You're trying to prove yourself. It ain't nothing to prove. People already know the truth. Something don't belong to you. You ain't getting something. I already told you that. Let it go, darling. You're wasting your time. Go and invest in yourself. You deserve to heal, okay? Everybody deserves to heal. Everybody deserves to be happy, okay, sir? Wherever, wherever they're inviting you, I feel like something is coming up. <laughs> something is coming up real soon. I don't know if this is a family reunion, a wedding going on, whatever bounty this is, harvest, or whatever this is. Make sure you're mindful of what you're eating. Be very cautious of what you're eating. You see this Queen of Swords right here? Queen of Cups right here? <laughs> I keep calling her Queen of Swords because sis be popping up as a Queen of Swords in a lot of my reads. I'm so used to it. Girl, what you doing today? <laughs> what you doing today? There will be another Queen of Cups in the community that's confessing. Oh, she's telling the truth. That, yeah, I've been lying about this Queen of Swords. I've been lying about the woman you want to work with. 
Uh, uh, she's not really like that. No, she didn't do nothing to me. She didn't make me cry. She didn't lie on me. She didn't steal from me. She didn't bully me. She didn't do nothing. I was just playing pretend. I was just pretending like she did something to me because I was jealous of her. Yeah, that, 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 that's all it is. Like, all the truth. I'm telling you. All the truth is about to be exposed. Like, nah, 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 nah. She didn't do nothing to me. She was she was nice to me. <laughs> I was the one who was mean to her. That's the queen of course, baby. They didn't mean people. You know how Nicki Minaj got on when she accepted her award? Uh, I think it was from Miley Cyrus or something. And she was like, and to that beat who was talking about me in the press the other day, Miley was good. And then Remy made a song and said what? That's uh, that's Hannah Montana, right? Meaning, that's a loving person. Like, why are you picking a fight with someone that's a queen of cups? They don't start fights with nobody. They try to stay clear of drama and problems. So you should feel funny. This is like coming after, like, I don't if you know, like, how you see, like, the fairies in the movie and they're just blasé, blasé going on about their day, not causing trouble. If you see, if they see problems coming, they try to fix it instead of making the problem worse. That's the kind of energy they came after, folks. This is the kind of energy they came after. Someone very, like, just maybe innocent looking or carries themselves very innocent, very, like, just gentle, down to earth. Like, very nurturing, kind, and healing, very genuine with people. This is the kind of energy these people came after. And they're still trying to convince people that this person is malicious. But now, one of them is confessing the truth. Is it? oh, no, she didn't do nothing to me. They told me I had to say that. Or I had to, like, I was her. Because somebody took on this woman's personality. <clears throat> They've been all watching her. I had to. They said if we did this, we we're going to get a lot of money. How you? And that's what I never understand, folks. How are you going to manifest abundance off of somebody else's energy? Because how you're going about it is dark in the first place. And you don't manifest anything good out of darkness. How, Sway? How are you going to manifest abundance out of darkness? You're manipulating to get it. So even if you get it, it ain't from the last. As quickly as you receive it, as quickly as it's psh, gone. Like magic. Okay? So I've never understood how it is that dark workers will commit themselves to manipulating energies just so they can have what belongs to somebody else. It belongs to them for a reason. So even if the universe allows you to have it, it is only for a specific time. You're still going to lose it. It don't matter if it's a relationship, a business, a position, if it's a child, whatever. You are still going to have to return that to that person. And sometimes the return is so embarrassing. You have to be the one to return to that person what you stole from them. Can you imagine? Oh, the secondhand embarrassment I'm feeling right now is ridiculous. I can't do it. And this is why I don't be trying to take from nothing. Take nothing from nobody. I had to write the other day to myself, like, reminder to self. Let go of what was stolen or destroyed. Never take from other people, always built from the ground up. Start Starting over, like, it's not a problem for me. So, you know, always start over, never steal from other people. Because, baby, I already know. I don't put two and two together since I was a child, since I was a wee bear. Nothing you take from people is ever going to be a good return on investment. The truth will always, listen, it'll never be a good return on investment. It'll always come back to bite you in the behind. So I don't know how people that are older than us in society still haven't learned this very simple wisdom. And it's been passed down to us by our elders through many generations. Different generations, different families, same wisdom. Don't take what does not belong to you. How you get it is how you lose it. And they're not just talking about a man or a woman. It's whatever it is you take. If you're not willing to lose it, don't take it. So you're not willing to lose the, lose a house, don't steal somebody else's house. Okay? There you go. Things are being balanced out. Destiny is playing out. 
I don't know if this woman wants to reach out to you or whatever this is. You didn't do nothing to these people. You didn't do nothing to deserve what it is they did to you. So I don't even want you to sit there wondering, what did I do to deserve this? Why did they do this? Maybe that don't matter. Your ancestors want you to know it's being taken care of. It's being taken care of. Stuff like this don't make no sense. It's a lot of disappointments going on behind the scenes, just so you know, because your ancestors are revealing the truth. They are hitting people left and right, playing Russian roulette. People were playing Russian roulette with your life. Now your ancestors are playing Russian roulette. They say, you are going to tell the truth today. You are going to tell the truth today. You are going to lose this today. You lose that until you do right by our child and return what it is you stole or confess. Confession. True confession. And this is like, typically, like workers, this is typically how they move when it comes to handling this kind of situation what do we do we typically just sit back and let it play out it's hard it's easier said than done but typically that's what we're being advised to do by the higher realms leave it be don't worry everything is okay we are taking care of it but the challenge for us a lot of the times is trying to still put why they are taking care of it because maybe this is when these dark workers are going all out just trying to destroy us in every way they don't care what's going on with us they don't care if we have kids alive that we got to take care of that when they take us out our kids are going to be missing out on having good parents in their lives so they're continuing this broken system of no parents in the household or single parents in the household and things they don't people don't people like this they don't be seeing things from that kind of perspective it's a dang you, you never said anything. If I take this person out, th them kids ain't gonna have their mom. Them kids ain't gonna have their dad. Like, yeah, like you don't think about that. And some of you have gone through this same, same situation. Someone took your dad. Someone took your mom. But you're out here working with people that are trying to do that very thing to other kids. It's like they're paying you to go and disturb a home. Take away from those children. Y'all never think about that? Like, you don't never self-actualize and try to see things from different sides. Like, dang, they're really trying to take these kids' dad away. They're really trying to take these, take these kids' moms away because of whatever this is. A man, a relationship, a job position, uh, whatever this is. Like, y'all never sit back and think, like, dang, this is what I've been partaking in. Because some of the energies I picked up on, it, it's now young people. I picked up on people in like their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, 60s, maybe even 70s, partaking in something like this. And it's really heartbreaking because these are people that should be teaching us how to be like the best version of ourselves. But here it is, they can't even teach us nothing because they're out here just acting a fool for money. For money. Just plotting to destroy people, take from people. Look, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> did I just say plotting to take from people, destroy? This came out in reverse, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I put it up here. These people aren't able to take what belongs to you because it is something that has been destined for you. Let's say like you started a business. I use social media as an example. You worked hard and built that platform. It's not something that was handed to you. The universe sees things like that. People tend to be very dismissive of how the universe operates. I tell people oftentimes in my reading, the universe we live in, it operates on principles and uh, uh, logic, balance, okay? The universe operates on ethics, principles, and logic. Balance. So if anything is out of attunement, if something is going this way for 10 years and all of a sudden it starts slowly going the other way, the universe takes notice of it. So they know something is not right. We got to fix this. We got to figure out how to attune this, attune this situation. So they'll come in and study the situation and figure out how to attune it for, uh, so that everybody's best interest is uh, taken care of or is considered. So you're never going to do something where it's just like, oh, well, you know what? Mm. Betty is just going to destroy uh, uh, the Queen of Cups and we're just going to let it happen. It's like, no, what did this Queen of Cups do that Betty is trying to destroy her? They'll look through everything. Oh, the Queen of Cups didn't do nothing to Betty. They don't, they don't, she don't even know this. She don't even know Betty. Betty, what's going on here? 
Now they gotta come and school Betty, and they'll be patient with Betty. That's why that ten of wands is out. That um, that wheel of fortune is out here. They'll be very patient with Betty because the universe is like a parent to us. They're very patient with us. They'll give us time to do right to fix things. But baby, if they keep giving you time and you keep acting up, they don't got no problems with pulling you in time out. So Betty, you about to be in time out, sister, because they're giving you time. But the wheel of fortune. That means they've been as patient with you as they can. That's why there is a source is out here. About to be in a ten of swords, baby, going through your own karma. Everything you were plotting for this queen of cups is about to happen to you. About to be out here single. Hopefully you're ready to mingle. You say you ain't want that woman in a happy relationship. You're about to be single fighting with people in your community. Tell my baby, I thought you told us this queen of cups did this to you. Betty, I thought you told us this queen of cups was this way. Betty, I thought you Betty, Betty don't got no answers. No, I thought she... You, I, 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 Kitty, you know that line in Empire? Mm -hmm, when Tarachi, uh, P. Henson was that... Kitty, Kitty, whatever she said. It, that's how Betty's about to be. Betty can't even get it out. Because Betty knows she did something out of hatred. Out of spitefulness. Nothing more than that. Didn't I say that, Betty? Didn't I say this? About to be going through a ten of swords for no reason. The group, whoever this is, is plotting a, a ten of swords for somebody. It's gonna be happening to you all as well. Is that return to sender? Look at look at that. <clears throat> I said return to sender. It's about to be that return to sender. All evil and negative plans are the enemies against the light workers. Return to sender. Return to source, return to sender. That part. Look at your worry. Just burden. The whole group just burden. Because this is a pentacle that's coming in. Ain't nothing you can do. Ain't nothing that Star Seed can do. This is what this is judgment by the universe, the spirit realm. For this person to have what it is that's theirs. Everything people in the light working community have, they didn't get it by accident. You got to do work. And oftentimes, it's emotional work. <laughs> the emotional work gives you the spiritual abundance that is then manifested in the physical. So, you see a light worker that's living a good, comfortable life. It's not because it's something they just went and <laughs> fell right into it. No, 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 no. They had to work. They had to earn that. And sometimes what it is they're earning is sometimes work they did in a past lifetime. And this lifetime, they're meant to have that because they did all that work back there. But it's not something that's just, you just, oops, I fell into a ten of pentacles. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like the universe is sitting back and saying, hey, if you can do this work now to heal, oh, to help other people ascend, to help other people elevate, broaden people's minds will give you this Ten of Pentacles, okay? And they don't tell you when you're going to get the Ten of Pentacles. You just got to do the work and trust them to come through. And you know they're going to come through. They don't lie to you. But you don't know when that Ten of Pentacles is coming in. You could be doing that work for six months, two weeks, six years, ten years, fifteen years. You don't know. But they'll take care of you along the way to make sure that you never fall flat on your face or something or nobody destroys you. You just got to keep going. And when you get to the end of that time, you say, ta-da, your Ten of Pentacles, we promised you. Oh, you didn't even know we were going to give you a Ten of Cups as well. You get it all. It's a source. It's a Pentacles. It's a Wands. It's a Cups. You get it all. You get a blessing. You get a blessing. You all get a blessing. Oprah Winfrey vibe out here. <laughs> Anyways, everything is married. Married, darling, married. It shouldn't nothing be handed to you when you're when you don't want to put in the work. You don't got no talents that you want to invest in. Nothing. You just want it to be handed to you because what? You're brutal. There is a lot of brutal people out here. Everybody is brutal. Okay? Everybody is brutal in their own ways. Broody is in the eye of the beholder. Okay, so what what that mean? What does that got to do with the price of tea in China, baby? <laughs> you trying to be out here like you're all exotic, exotica? <laughs> you ain't exotic, darling. You an average gene like myself. Come on now. 
Just because you put on makeup and it looks cute don't mean that you're better than other people. Just because you put on expensive clothes don't mean that you're better than other people. You need to go find some self-worth. It's, it's cheap to find. It's free. Self-worth, excuse me, self-worth is not cheap, but it's free. <laughs> it's free and can't nobody take it away from you. If you get it the right way, meaning if you actually do the work to see yourself from a, a higher perspective, see your value, nobody can take that away from you. That's why sometimes you all don't understand where you're coming after these kind of energies. You don't understand how you can take everything from them. But when you see them, they're still smiling. They're still happy. They're still investing time, energy, and resources into themselves, no matter how little the resource may. You never understand, do you? That is because it is within. It's not these people, these kind of people don't care what the outside world thinks of them because they already know too much about the outside world. It's like you come into someone and they know more about you than you even know about yourself, but you're trying to make them feel uncomfortable about themselves. And they're just looking at you like poor little thing thing, bless your heart. But they're not gonna say that to you, Betty. They'll just let you, you know, do your thing. They, they let you do your thing. Do your thing, Betty. You need to tell people why you actually are coming after this Queen of Cups. Tell them, Betty. Tell them. Look at that. Tell them. Tell them, Betty. Why, why are you... <laughs> Listen, her, her ancestors are exposing it. It's because you ain't innocent. You're feeling pessimistic, like luster. Let me read this card on here. Yeah, you ain't innocent, Betty. You ain't innocent. You're impractical as heck. They're exposing everything that you are and have been doing. You in the group. So there's some type of judgment that has been made. I don't know if you fell from grace, even though you never was on. <laughs> Anyways, Betty. Why are you coming after this Queen of Cups? Do you want to tell the people? You don't want to tell them? Is it because you're bothered by this person's energy, their complexion? You hate this person's light? Is that what it is, Betty? Listen, Betty, the decision has already been made. I think there's an emperor. Maybe this emperor is going to do what he wants to do. Hey, Mr. Emperor, sir. You got a brother. <laughs> I see you doing something in here. You got a brother. What's his name? What's his number? Is he single? <laughs> Only the single ones, uh, Mr. Emperor, sir. We don't want no taking ones. Not the ones with friends with benefits, nothing. If you got a female friend, we don't want that one either. We want the single, single one. Okay, uh, Mr. Emperor. Mr. Emperor, do you got a brother? <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a clown for no reason. Let me put my clownery back into the bag, folks. But anyways, <sighs> I don't know who this queen of uh, this other queen of cups is that's confessing the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So it helped her, her ancestors, her angels, and the source. But she's telling the truth to bring violence in some type of situation about how they've been trying to steal something, take something from somebody else. It's been a whole collaboration. Maybe somebody here is just now finding out that something was a collaboration. Is that maybe a masculine they didn't know that these people collaborated against this Queen of Cups or whoever uh, this is, the Queen of Swords, that they all collaborated against and he's finding this out now. And it has to do with this Queen of Cups confessing. You, the Queen of Cups in the upright, you're going to be having some type of new beginning, all right? Taking charge of your life and moving forward, getting away from some type of plot against you. And it has people living in sorrows because this chapter is over. The fact that the chapter is over is why they're mad. They want to keep bothering you. They want to keep causing you problems. And you know people that think this way, maybe there's something wrong with them. This is like a mental illness. I don't think the world will ever be able to find a cure for it because some some of these all hope is gone. I'm sorry. Okay, all hope is gone. Someone is coming to invest in you. Whatever it is you are doing. Your ancestors are protecting you while someone is making their way to you to invest in whatever it is that you do. So it don't matter what people have been saying to this person about you. He or she, I feel like it's an emperor that's coming towards somebody. 
he believes in you. He's very loyal, and he's hoping that you are the same as well. He believes in your dreams. He believes in your work. If you are a high priestess like I've been picking up on, especially with this Queen of Cups energy, he believes in your gifts, and she knows that. That's why she's bothered by it. Uh, you got a whole group of people that are bothered by you. If you got this kind of force of people, this, this amount of people coming up against you, baby, you are a force to be reckoned with. That's all I can say. Like, all these people coming after you and you didn't do nothing to them, didn't even lift a finger to do nothing. You are a force to be reckoned with. And that is something that is bothering these people. So don't even sit back thinking that something is wrong with you. You did anything to agitate these people. You did anything to uh, 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 make them do something to you. No, 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 darling. You didn't do nothing. Oftentimes, that's how it works with these kind of people. You don't got to do nothing for them to come after you. You just got to breathe. It's a problem. Wink. It's a problem. Be still. It's a problem. Don't be still. It's a problem. Everything is a problem. That's because the problem is within them, but they don't want to go within. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. <laughs> Goodbye for now.